creating and restoring backups. Backing up your files helps ensure that the safety of your drawing is okay. If a problem occurs, you can restore a drawing from a backup file. Computer hardware problems, power failures, and even software problems can occur and cause errors in your drawing. By saving your work frequently, you can ensure that a minimum of data is lost if your system fails for any reason. If a problem occurs, you can always restore a drawing from a backup. In this drawing here, it is named Practice. We have one rectangle drawn. I'm going to go ahead and click on the Rectangle tool and draw one more rectangle. Don't worry too much about the drawing tools just yet. We'll cover them later. I'm going to go ahead and go to the Application menu and save this. Create one more rectangle and go ahead to the Application menu and save this again. Now let's navigate to where this file is located at. I have this located here in my documents folder. And as you can see, here's the practice.dwg file. If you move this to the side a bit, you can see that's the same file that we are working on. You also notice there's a practice.bak file. Each time you save a drawing, the previous version of your drawing is saved to a file with the same name and a .bak file extension attached to it. The backup file is located in the same folder as the drawing file. You can revert to your backup version by renaming the .bak file in Windows Explorer to a file with a .dwg extension. Well, let's look at the settings for backing up your files. You can find this in the Options menu. You can right click and with Model Space, go to Options, as well as coming to the Application menu and going to Options here. And in this area, we will go to the Open and Save dialog box. And in File Safety Precautions, we can look at the Create Backup Copy Each Save File. As we hover over it, we also get a tooltip that says Improves the Speed of Incremental Saves. If you're working with very large files, this can help save the time it takes for you to save your file because it won't have to save a backup file as well. But if you want to have more safety with your files, go ahead and keep this checked. Let's go ahead and select OK because now we're working with small files and we do want to keep them backed up just in case.